Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. This is episode 68. Last time we defeated the dreaded Bale and also found our way into the ancient ruins of Rao from the West Rampart onwards and we have been exploring this region in a very confusing way because we're kind of walking through this one blind trying to see where we can end up uh, and I want to get to this map marker. Now something that I have actually done to try and get this map marker is I have had to resort to getting a push, getting a little hint uh, in the in the right direction, where to begin our journey for the map marker. Uh, and to do that, it's not what I expected at all, which is me going running around the ancient ruins looking for an elevator down uh, this whole time. Uh, we actually need to start over here uh, at the Morth Ruins and head north. Uh, and that is our starting point. So I didn't want to look up the full path. I just needed a nudge in the right direction. Um, this just seems kind of ridiculous. <laughs> But, you know, it's also how we've gotten to other areas in this game is there's a very interesting roundabout way to come here, to go down here, to go through here, and that's how you get to the woods. Like, uh, it's it's very interesting how how this world uh, is connected in the in the DLC. So uh, I, I feel like I can confidently state that without wasting uh, a tremendous amount of hours searching this area for a way down I wouldn't have thought to begin my journey uh, in this area first uh, but it looks like we'll be heading north so I guess looking at the map there's maybe something here so let's go and take a look and see what we can find but yeah I did just want to at least state I want to find this place so bad <laughs> and I'm not doing it without a little bit of a nudge, and look at that, okay. Shadow Tree Fragment and everything. Look at this. There was a cave. There was a little cave here. And a little minor oak tree. Hello. There we go. Well look, our journey can now proceed into the lower areas because uh, the ancient ruins of Rao does seem to be, like, the final area, you know? Heal from afar. Interesting. It does seem to be, like, the final area. So, want to make sure that we can explore as much as possible of this lower region before we push on, because the Grace Point is pushing us over this way, I guess. As long as there are no dancing lions down here, I think we'll be fine. Uh, so we got Heal from Afar. An Urtree incantation discovered in the Realm of Shadow. Fires a projectile toward distant allies that greatly restores HP on contact. And even when far beyond, far out of sight, the Urtree will surely give us its blessing. So that cave there is how we go through and that's how we get to this spot so I guess maybe we'll go through here and then there'll be like a way underneath the shadow keep from here okay we finally made it yeah I think this map marker was a little little too complex for me to just stumble upon it uh, naturally, that's for sure. Got a lot of birds. Brave bird anklets. Being harassed.
pretty simple poison swamp venture. Ah, some birds. And look at us go. We're heading underneath over here. The Rao base. Oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> Wow. There we go. I really thought that we'd find our way down from the ancient ruins themselves, be like a big elevator or something. And I was thinking too logically. You need to think outside the box. Okay, now we're at the ancient ruins base. I hope I can beeline. <laughs> Right for the for the map marker and piece this whole thing together, and then we'll finally have the map completed, which would be great. Yeah, so we've got a lot of these types of enemies around here. This is where they live. God, this really is where they live. There's a lot of them hanging out, eh? Queen Amaryllis. Oh, I'm gonna get knee healed. Knee healed. What's going on in here? Oh, another another war is taking place. What are you slamming? Give me that. Jesus. It's been a while since we've, um... <laughs> Look at all those... <laughs> poise breaks. It's been a interesting wi uh, while since we've, uh... Had groups fighting against each other. I haven't seen Mesmer soldiers in a while either. Look at that. Got a pearl shield talisman. Just in a little chest. Yes, don't mind if I have a look at that, do you? The nature of the potential and the potential of impurity surpassed the understanding of the knights, and so they were forced to prepare for all threats, known or unknown. Boosts all non physical damage negation while guarding. That's pretty nice, actually. Grave birds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Oh, we got one of these big boys. So, I think what's really surprising for me personally is that we were able to get to this location really early. Like, you get to the Morth Ruins pretty quick. So, I think the fact that we could have ended up here um, really quite quickly is pretty funny. It's like the final location that we're discovering. Hey, you're a little stronger than the others, eh? I don't got time for you. You small fry, Gollum's halberd. Nice. The great halberd of Blackstone, crafted by a civilization now gone to ruin, wielded by the guardian Gollum. Charge forth. Ooh. 
will be charging forth to this map marker. Oh my god, I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna get it. I see it! It's real! It's real! I'm finally getting it. Very good. The map has been completed. The Rao ruins. Map found. These giant ruins are flooded, overgrown, and split into two by a chasm. To the southwest is the Church of the Bud overlooking the Tower of Shadow. Okay, there it is. It's the full map. There it is. Honestly, I think there should have been a, uh, a map above and a map below, maybe. Now I get to see stuff that we've potentially missed and not yet looked at. This is a big open field. There's got to be a boss fight there. That looks like something. I think this is where we fought the dancing lion. So now we got to look for a way... I wonder if you can go up to... I reckon we can check this area out from below. I think what's interesting is um, I don't really know what I have and haven't checked since obtaining the map, because I know we ran through a lot of this area. I'm excited to see what this is. Or, sorry, spirit spring here. Okay. We got the rocks nearby. So that'll take us up somewhere. Where the rocks at? It makes sense to have these blocked by something that you have to unlock. There you go. They're always nearby. Um, it, except for when they're not. There was one that we found last time and I didn't find the rocks for it yet. It makes sense that you would block these considering how this map is put together in terms of um, high and lower areas like this might start to yeah this will take us up oh shit this will take us up but there was no way to get down first so we could have ended up Oh no. Oh, that'll take us up here. Okay. Scratch that. Um, I'll take my thought back. Hey, okay. This takes us across to here. Finally, we're like, hey, how do we get here? <laughs> we found it. It's a little, like, mausoleum. Here. What do we got? Northern Nameless Mausoleum. Oh, you're here. Okay. I was I thought it was actually gonna be a bear. Um <laughs> Don't ask me what the thought process was there. There wasn't one. Um Red Bear! Alright. <laughs> That doesn't count. <laughs> the red bear. I was waiting for an actual bear to appear. And it caught me off guard. Okay, so we got a man dressed as a bear. Let me just um, prep myself before I enter the mist. That might be a good idea. Uh, what you got for me, red bear? that classic apocalypse time of let's fight an enemy uh, that's actually kind of early. I pressed the wrong button. Pressed the wrong button, I got killed for it. Um, yeah, it's like one of those situations where it's like, let's go up against a boss that we could have fought 
hours ago if we just found this little cave. If only we found this little cave. Hugging the wall would have worked. Okay. I'll stop fucking around now. We'll defeat the bear. We, we've let him have his fun. Time to die. moves, bro. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to block or deflect that, I guess. Healed, huh? Oh, that blood loss. Bleeding claws. You tried to heal, and that is your undoing. Told you you were dead. All right, the red bear has been defeated. Do we get anything? Yeah. Whoa, oh, shit. Red bear's claw, fang helm, iron rivet armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Okay. Because he was a spirit. I was like, I wonder if we get like a spirit. Okay. Look at this. The red bear's claw. Claw of a great red bear. Wielded without modification by Red Bear, whose name is lost to madness. After killing the Great Red Bear in a blood-soaked bout, he became fascinated by the untainted glory of its naked strength. I wish to be a bear, no more and no less. <laughs> the Red Bear Hunt slaughters prey with sharp claws and a great swipe of the arm. The attack creates a vacuum which deals continuous damage. Repeated input allows for two follow-up attacks. I wish to be a bear, no more, no less. Helm of Red Bear, whose name is lost to madness. The cheek guards are shaped after lion fangs. Perhaps the, his fascination with the untamed strength of the wild stemmed from his past as a red man. Well, I mean, that just makes too much sense. We should have started with that. Um, a vest reinforced with iron rivets. After killing, uh, there's more naked strength here. Yeah, I wish to be a bear, no more, no less. That's great. Honestly, that's incredible. So. We already have the Red Bear um, hood. We have the Red Mane Helm, which is also lionish. Um, so we have the Pelt of Ralva, the Great Red Bear. Enhances incantations to what is jokingly called Bear Communion. So we do have that. So we can also get, add that into the, into the outfit. So there's a nameless mausoleum. We have defeated Red Bear. I wish to be bear. That is all. And Red Bear will plague these lands no longer. Now I can just quickly take a look around here. Might have just been the mausoleum. It is interesting to see an area like this finally get, um, <laughs> finally get explored. Okay, so I think it was just the mausoleum up here. So now we'll go back down the Spirit Spring.
come out. Where is it? It's the way down. We come up. Taking a taking a big risk. Trying to look for where this one is. There it is. It's a scary thing to do, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> One, Let's jump out a little bit further. I am back down. Temple Town Ruins. They called it Temple Town. fuss is about in this place. I thought I saw that. There with the shiny pot. What you got for me? Sword Talisman. <laughs> oh my god. The way that he just fucking... I love that. Just keep breaking my, keep breaking my poise, boy. Anyway. 
nothing. Gives me a charge for my heal, okay. This talisman. Talisman depicting a warrior two handing a sword. It enhances attacks with two handed weapons. The horned warriors were fitting figureheads for the military might of the tower. They kept watch over their deft attacks, slashing through any and all foes. Okay. Two handed. Is it two handed uh, attacks or specifically weapons that are two handed? I feel like I should be able to wield it with my milady. Oh, hang on. There's a little note down here. What do you say? What do you say? Get eaten by wolves. I'm gonna get eaten by wolves. Stop it. Okay, anyway. And then that dude throws a rock at me and I die. That would be poetic. I'll be damned if there isn't a way past the wall. Okay. <laughs> Try the other side, brother. Abandoned ailing village over there. That'll take us down there. Combing the environment, see if we can find anything. Grace. Found ourselves a grace point. We're at the Temple Town ruins. And we can do another blessing of the Shadow Tree. So it looks like from here we'll be able to go through this section. See what we can discover down this way. Oh no, Scarlet Rot stuff. Yep. Okay. So we could have discovered the Scarlet Rot stuff much earlier too by going through here. So another area with this. Oh, fucking hell. So like, uh, what do we do to this place? I know. Fill it with Scarlet Rot. That'll teach him. We're filling out the Gravebird set. It's one of them shiny fucking things nearby.
poison flower blooms twice, okay? These things are so fucked up. Okay, you stay down there. I'll go up here. Seeing if there's a oh god, just seeing if there was potentially a way into this or whether it's just a big old tower. Oh no, it's it's a column of the bridge. It's a column of the bridge. Another grace point. They just given them to us. Okay, let's have a read of what we just picked up. Rest at the grace point. The ravine north. Okay, so featuring a cape of black deathbird feathers, it enhances jumping attacks. Gravebirds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves. What is going on there? The poison flower blooms twice. Conjures stingers of scarlet rot from below to stab the enemy. Landing a follow-up attack on a foe already inflicted with poison of rot deals massive damage in one fell swoop. Usable on all melee armaments. That seems pretty fun. That seems pretty fun. Okay, so that's what all of this shit is. It's scarlet rot. I'm like, yes, look at all these red trees. I mean, there are red trees here too, but it is also Scarlet Rock too. It serves double purpose. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Why? Why? Why'd they give them wings? Why did they give the scorpions wings? <laughs> They're like, how do we make it worse? How do we make it worse? We need something here. Let's put scorpions here. Ah, but boss. There's scorpions everywhere. We need to do something else. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are we doing here? Fucking hell. All right, bro. I see you. Um, where was, um... I and Rivet... Wearing the bear is better than the uh, the helmet, I reckon. No bear claw. That is unupgraded. Okay. One cent giant red bear. Oh, it's uh, yep. Googly. Googly. Block that, by the way. Or try block that. Oh, damn it! I almost, almost got it. 
Oh, I just got it. I made a mistake in that little move there. I was trying to counterattack and took a lot of damage. Where are we? Let's do that again. All right, there's a big old bear over there. Rugally. One of these days they'll just commit and it will be called Clifford and we'll all be happy. Why can't we just have Clifford the Big Red Bear? That's crazy. Okay, let's destroy this bear, shall we? at me I'm looking at you let's get it let's get it done okay that's yeah I need to watch out for that okay so sometimes it follows up with an attack oh shit ah oh. Well, I missed my yeah, I missed my chance for that. That's all right. I was not prepared for that. Try and block that is what I said, didn't I? I said that. <gasps> I thought I dodged out of the death zone. Uh, I think I dodged in the wrong direction for that one. Oopsie. Just dressing appropriately to hunt this bear, of course. It's because I'm not using the bear claw, of course. Fucking already fucking it up. Already fucking it up. You know what I've just realized? I thought so. I'm like, I think I fucked something up. No, oh, I've got, I've got, I've got a lowered fall damage uh, talisman on. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I think I've got something wrong equipped. I don't have my uh, fast stamina growth, and that's what's going on here. pretty funny. I mean, it, like, it's just not optimized. It doesn't matter, but it, <laughs> I don't care. It is pretty funny, though. Yeah, so I thought I would beat you with a talisman that's absolutely useless. Is that okay with you? <laughs> okay. Defeated. Let me get, let me change that. Uh, I forgot to take that off. <laughs> The Roar of Rugali. It's 
right? Because I like the journey from Dark Souls 1, where I was playing and I was like, I need the best stats of my armor, I need to make sure that everything is amazing and have the best everything at all times so I can survive. And now I'm just like, eh. It, it really, truly doesn't matter that much. Uh, who cares? <laughs> just throw yourself at it. Have some fun. Matter what you got equipped. Oh, I kind of want to make Egon's armor work in some way. <laughs> in some way, I want to make it. I want to make it work. But I'm I'm so attached to my um, so attached to my Death Knight um, helmet. That I just want something that works with that. See, here we go. We, we already had the Gravebird's armor, but then you've got the Gravebird uh, Black Quill armor to give you wings. Ooh. It gets rid of the collar when you're wearing this. Dry leaf room, just too good. Just too good. Bear defeated. Oh, hang on. Did I listen to this? Hold on. I'm going to read this. Roar of Rugli. The, red be the bear communion. Transform oneself into a great red bear and emit a mighty roar. Charging increases potency. An incantation that is more akin to the divine invocation of the horn scent than it is to the dragon communion. Only through desperate battle with the feral wild can one discover a god unique to oneself. Let's go. Like, eh, if the dragons can do it, why can't bears? Oh. 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 Two of them. Two of them. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 double rune bed, no, double rune bed, no. You, you know why, you know why they put throwing knives there, right? Because you're supposed to just get the attention of one at a time. Oh my god. <laughs> Quick! It, it took too long to, takes too long to summon. Oh, am I still alive? How the fuck am I still alive? <laughs> Not the double rune bear, bro. Oh my god. That's so funny. You're supposed to do throwing dagger so you can just get the attention of one of them. Alright, now let's now let's fight. Ain't no way I'm fighting two of them. I'm having a good time. Oh, that, okay, that went quick. I defeated your daddy, by the way. Just so you know. So you ain't shit. But two of you? Maybe. Get out of here, bear. Poop! Poop! Horn poop! Excrement of large carnivorous beasts containing fragments of horns. Found underfoot in places like forests where beasts dwell. It is said that the deadliest of horned predators enjoy the sport of hunting and devouring other horned creatures. Where was the other one? You're too big for your own good. Yeah, fuck. I can just hug the side of you. You're nothing without your friend, are you? Alright. Good night. Alright. 
<laughs> Rune Bear has conquered. Imagine fending them off from up here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> they accidentally stumbled onto a couple of sleeping Rune Bears. Somehow managed to survive. Got smacked with like a 1% health left. Easy. Oh, there's another one. We really have just stumbled upon the bears in the woods, haven't we? Catching strays. hunting tonight, I guess. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> oh, hang on. We're up here now. No, we're just underneath that. Oh. Okay. Ooh. The map has deceived me once again. You know what? I'm gonna leave that one be. <laughs> I've decided... <laughs> I have decided we're not going for a mass extinction of the rune bears. We're hanging out underneath this. Yum. How good. Here's your horn scent poop pile. Say this game doesn't do anything for you. see what's going on here as well, so just rest, curve all the way around. Let's avoid the uh, Flying scorpions. Oh, but wait, there's more of them. Oh, we should at least try and kill one, shouldn't we? Could be fun. Yes, okay. It shoots. Down. Is there any way I can get you down from there? I mean, at least they're not super strong. Oh, ooh! We're near a catacombs. Fuck yeah. Exciting. Do you love me some catacombs? Oh no, not you guys, not you guys. Stop! A virtual gaze from me, I beg, look away! Ah! Alright, 
tiny guys. I don't got time for you. I'm going in. Scorpion River. Well, I mean, you know what? It's it is accurately named. You can't. There is no better name. We have been hanging out at a Scorpion River. Are we gonna have any uh, catacombs with an illusory wall that I personally discover, or am I just I'm just cursed? I wonder if they even have them. We haven't encountered any elevators with stuff under them either. I've been like scoping out the Elden Ring tropes and we've had some successes, some failures. Well, I wouldn't say failures, just not successes. Okay, you drop down early. Looking for the, looking for the other traps in here. fuck is going on there? Um, is that a basilisk statue, or is that a really weird looking basilisk? That's kind of horrifying to look at. What the fuck? I hate that. Got it, hang on, it's... Ooh. Oh. What the fuck? I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting death blight stared? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm getting death blight stared. Okay. What the fuck? Bruh, I'm busy. Okay. Okay, that's solid. That. Ooh. All right. All right. They knew that I was gonna try something like that. Like, yeah, we know you're gonna try something. Thanks. Okay. Interesting. I thought this was gonna be an alternate path. Does that mean I have to actually try and? So we want to put on talisman for raising all of our things. Um, then got anything else that's um, good with that? one on and then have this and then I mean this might even just be me doing too much but that's fine I think folk what's uh which one is uh just do all of them. I generally don't know which one is affected by uh, the death blight.
the stair again. I should probably don't need to freak out as much. That's so fucked up though. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, they're like, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a weird death blight catacombs thing. Or a basilisk is just staring at you. there but I didn't think it was a cannon one. Turns out it was. trust issues up more than a catacomb, so I don't tell you that much. I was expecting like something to be sh shot at me while I'm in the small tunnel. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you know what? Should have expected that. <laughs> Should have expected that. We've encountered this <laughs> already. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> they got me. Now remember, I said that I'd never be surprised by anything in this game anymore. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay to be surprised. It's all part of the fun. There's a. I could jump down here. There's a ladder. Oh my god. They definitely started making these catacombs quite large, haven't they? What have we here? There's pathways up here as well. Jesus. Ah, uh, we got a spike. Is it active? Is it its vicinity activated? Okay. You'd be okay. They're just popping them out of wherever now. Okay. Can we turn them off? Okay. Ooh, you reckon I can get across to this one? Get on the bridge, run across to it. Okay, watch this. Oh no, it's too far. chance actually. I think there's a chance. However, this um Yeah damn. Now that this statue's activated it makes this harder to traverse as a result. Fuck. Fuck. 
We need to figure out how to turn these off. Um, come on. I can crawl. I don't have enough crystal cave moss, so I, um... Crush me. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. Like, is there a switch or anything? Well, I made it here, which is pretty funny. Knight's Lightning Spear. One of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult summons a lightning spear while also manifesting ancient dragon crests. On throwing the spear, the crests will launch additional spears, charge to increase the number of crests, and add a bolt of lightning to impact. An incantation that was taught only to the most accomplished knights, and now a lost art in the lands between. Very nice. Taking a little detour or a path. Hmm. I'm looking for like a switch to like turn it off, I guess. Surely they've. They seem to be motion. Oh no! They seem to be motion activated when they turn on. And I accidentally ate one of my boluses! Oh, now we're just on the other side. Okay. Elevator. I still want to check out... I haven't forgotten those soldiers that are hanging out on that other side, so... Go there. Eventually. Oh, hello. Maybe this is the second level to the... Hold on. Do this first. So I'm gonna make the run. This I could just oh fuck, I'm gonna die. No I'm not. Whoa, oh my god. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I uh dropped much further down. And I was expecting there for a sec. Look before you leap, they say. Okay, so there's also basilisks in here. Uh, this is where the ladder was, and this is where we could drop down here. Right, okay. So if you fall down, this is your way back up. In this place out. Okay, we've been here before. There we go. 
Okay. Circle back around. Do this again. actually scared the shit out of me because I thought it was further away <laughs> I thought I was safe I thought I was safe damn it so what are Mesmer's soldiers doing in here it's a good thing we didn't disturb Mr. Man over here So he wouldn't be able to get his butthole inspected. Boop. Look at that. Black Knight Captain Hugh. Ho! My name is Black Knight Captain Hua! Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Hua! Knight Captain of the Black Knights. The Black Knights were the primary force of Mesmer's army. Second to their first Knight Commander was Hua, a man with agile command of both twin blade techniques and the powers of the Crucible, in whose spirit in these ashes dwells. Though a champion of the Divine Beast Hunt, he followed his father Andreas into rebellion against Mesmer, and like his father, he too was imprisoned in an underground tomb. Mesmer mourned the loss of a brother in arms. I think that might be the longest lore item description I've ever read in a FromSoft game. As a full paragraph. It wasn't just like, eh, once upon a time, there were things and they did stuff. That was like, there's a story here. Oh, yeah, he followed his father, Andreas. Who the fuck's that? <laughs> just the casual, like, whoever was writing the lore for, for the Black Knight was like, I'm going to go off tonight. I'm in a mood. Yeah, so his father, Andreas, he's crazy. All right, so we'll make make sure that we got that. And now we'll head down. I gotta go up, don't I? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, this fucking death blade shit. Can't believe they do this to me. Go down the elevator. Huh! Wait, forsake that one item. Okay, what do we got? Are oh, you fucking what? Oh my god! What? Oh my god. <laughs> What? You know what? Points for sheer creativity. It's it's fascinating. They're like, what's worse than basilisks? Floating basilisk guys that cannot be destroyed. Okay, I see the statue at the back. You fucker, I heard you. Bless me. Now, I thought it would be really cool if you could, like, destroy the statue when you physically got close to it or something. Uh, the game does not want that for you. I knew that there would be one. Oh, the double. I, my favorite is when you know that something's going to happen and it all happens anyway. You're like, well, I mean, who's the who's the real idiot there? Oh, it's me. Oh, I jumped too late. I should have just dodged. Oh, big one. 
fake one. <laughs> I sentence you to permanent pog face. No! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's that guy that does the fucking underground bolts. God damn it. And he's gonna curse me forever. Oh! The underground reflective bolt thing. You asshole! Okay, hang on. I gotta go to him immediately. You fucking douchebag. He puts such a stupid level of pressure. Oh! What? What the fuck? Stop that. What? How do I get to him? He's still casting spells at me. The eyeballs are coming to get me. Oh, what? All right, how do I get to him? I gotta go. Because there's stuff I gotta do in there. I got unfinished business in there, you know, dog? Uh, what if it's here? Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Okay. He's jumped off. Let's not fall off, shall we? seem to just be somewhere else. Oh! Fuck. It's just that I'm in a room with a chest. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Dragonite's cookbook. Dragon Ball and drawstring Dragon Ball Grease. Oh, so this is uh, this is where we just were, and we ran underneath there. Okay, I know where we are. And then let's go here, and then the guy is up here. Yes. Fuck you, asshole! Oh no, because now he can still cast spells at me. You weren't supposed to fall off, bro. Hold on. Hold on. And that's that one. Okay. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna get you. Stop that. Immediately. Now I can get this. And now I can go down here. Waiting for you to fall in there. I won't give in to your games. I only have one flask left, so. That's why we get a Stake America whenever we reach one of these elevators. The multi tier catacombs, such a crazy thing. The eyes, the eyes. Okay, so now we go down again. Let's go into this room with one flask. What could go wrong? Oh, 
Oh my, oh fuck. Oh, it's only another Death Knight. All right, one of us has got to change. Brother, okay. I'm getting Death Knighted again. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's so much taller than I am. Bro, another Death Knight and another one of those. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the rest of it? I didn't realize that there would be another one of those things ever. They're getting less special. That's the third one of those now. Is it this is it the same is it our is it our buddy every single time? He's just coming out to hang out. Actually, isn't it the fourth one? Isn't he also there's also near Fia with with uh, her quest line. This is uh, the, the, oh god, this is the form of our, one of the G names that got death knighted. He got, in the, in the night of the, the black knife assassination thing. See, why would you ever want to go to anyone else for lore when you can have me say the black knight assassination thing and you know exactly what I'm talking about? <laughs> While I get my ass handed to me by fucking Thor over here. Uh, something I keep trying to do and fucking at. Fucking bailing at. It's that. Alright, I'm gonna try and bring myself. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I wanted to bring myself closer to the door, because if I die, then I can just pick up my runes here. Yes, uh, jolly good. This guy's got a cool axe, though. Alright, so he's immediately going to charge me with lightning. Oh. I'm going to have words with you, pal. my runes. They're in the middle of the room. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't need them anyway. That is funny though. I'm like, alright, I'll die and I'll put my runes by the door. How silly. Well, that's one way to lose them, I suppose. But now I don't have to care about them. Here we go. Now I have nothing to lose. That's fine. Oh, he's been grabbed. Oh, how cool is that? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool when he absorbed all my health and healed all that damage I did to him? Isn't that so cool? That's a morale killer. dodged too early, so he's going to just heal all of the damage that I just did to him again. That's a morale killer, he says. Let's do it again. Never mind. Alright, so let's try and not get grabbed so he just heals all of his health back twice. 
Only one of us is allowed to heal around here, pal. I'm a special kind of guy. I rested my controller on my leg and uh, accidentally propped that a little too early. Premature spooky right there. Hey, you ever heard of this game called Sekiro? It's fucking cool. You should play it sometime, Mr. Death Knight. And he uh, successfully dodged it. He almost didn't. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. He almost didn't successfully dodge it. Mr. Death Knight, what's wrong? You've hardly touched your... your food. Night, sweet prince. Play Sekiro sometimes. It's a fun game. Death Knight's Long Shaft Axe and the Cerulean Ember Medallion 3. Hell fucking yeah, boy. A long hafted golden axe wielded by the Death Knight bears representation of a decayed golden ring. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The Knight, once the personal guard of Godwin. Ah was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Hmm. Blink bolt, long hafted axe. From a low stance, the body is transformed into a bolt of lightning and charges straight ahead at fulgur speed. Strong attack performs a lightning charge leaping slash. So uh, uh, this other knight, a protector, a personal guard of Godwin, okay? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Bleeding and everything. I always still get creeped out by the fact that it bleeds, right? Um, fun. Fun little place. Where are so That's really interesting that we're under here, so... I'll return to the entrance. You know what? I will return to the entrance. I don't want to look at those bastless death eyeballs anymore. <laughs> okay. So, that's what we found by going down that way, which was cool. Liked that a lot. Um, we explored up there, went down here. <clears throat> and I'm, ju I'm just happy that we did the map piece. Uh, I think now going to be quite enjoyable for me is um is heading back up i think i think i'll enjoy heading back up so let's head to let me see what's going on here to look at this let's go back to the viaduct tower and um i'll just take a break and then we will explore more of the ancient ruins See what we can discover. So in terms of getting over there. I see a doorway over there. I see a doorway over there. down here. Try not to get shot by this guy. Oh, 
on shot by that guy. Annoying shot. Secret waterfall. I'm gonna go in here. So this was the little oh, Jesus. I thought I was safe. Blink in this place. Got that dude's gonna be so annoying, isn't he? Spiders here. I want to see what's down in this area. everything about them. <laughs> it's just everything. Oh! I didn't expect to be lucky onto you, I was expecting the other guy. with the uh, spider scorpion hell or what oh hang on we got an elevator let's go up let's go up what is this guy Sparkly pop, boy. All right, settle down here. Yeah. Beard spirit ash, eh? That's what I'm looking at there. Let's go down there. Check out this tower. Got the flying scorpions here. Good. Good, good. Excuse me. Aspects of the Crucible Bloom. Oh, it's uh, we saw the enemy do that. We summoned the uh, flower from his chest. Okay. Gotcha.
seems like there was another level. Oh, there's a bridge up there. A little gap that we can jump across. Okay. Hang on. Hang on a minute. A little bridge. There's a little bridge. <laughs> I was not looking where I was going. Um, I need to find a way up there. Let's find a way up there. If we start from the highest point, from the grand stairway grace point, I think we are... There's the... there's the thing! It's up here! Oh, nice. Well, that'll allow me to get over there. There you go. I was gonna say, up here I might be able to get to that bridge, but I, I have just answered my own... my own plight! Huh. Now I can jump up over here. Oh yeah, game. Let's go here. And tucked away rocks. Oh, chest. Oh. oh, nice. Not a single, not a single teleport chest. I'm almost disappointed. <laughs> Creates a Miranda flower on the chest. We'll read this. In an age long past, before this land was enshrouded in shadow, the vitality of the crucible flourished. And vividly colored ceremonial accoutrement worn by Horn Scent. Horns are sublime artifacts to Horn Scent, and their presence confirms the belief they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. Uh, so we now have um, vastly raised with the plus two. Very nice. Got the goddamn plus two. Okay, so now from here. And spirit spring up there as well. It's, uh, it's just a little too high. Here's me. I'm just trying to see if there's. Yeah, look, there's something. There's something there. There's um. Tab. How do I? How do I get over there? Right, hold on a sec. Hold on a minute. Go over here. Oh god, is this possible? <laughs> yep. Alright, I'm up here. Elden Ring, you 
bastard. You bastard. They got you with the invisible bridge once again. You fucks. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way to jump over there. Are they hitting me with the invisible bridge once more? Yes, they fucking are. Alright, nice. Raise the stone sheathed sword to the light. Oh, hello. Um, it, a sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone, relic of a lost civilization from a time long past, said to have served a ritual purpose at altars of light and darkness. Well, this looks like a bit of a light altar, doesn't it? Okay. The sword of light. Oh, does that mean that there's there could have been an altar of darkness and we could have got a sword of dark depending on which one you find that's pure speculation if there was a dark altar as well I need 24 faith damn it sword of light pulled from its stone scabbard at an altar from the quick of the root unswerving rays of light intersect and reflect to give the silver blade form Light unleashes the light carved in the armament's blade. Send the sword aloft to let loose a blinding light whose many rays sweep through the surrounding area. Also temporarily boost one's own holy attacks. That's pretty damn awesome. I don't have enough faith uh, faith for this one, but yeah, it's pretty sick. Light! Ah! Oh. That's so cool. I don't have enough faith for that, so this just becomes a cool sword trick. Whoa! Oh man, that, that probably looks so cool when you've got enough faith. I love that you can just... <laughs> you hover it there. God. It'd be such a great photo mode shot. I, that animation is so cool. What a heroic little little pose. Man, to be a strength, faith, paladin in this game would be so rewarding. Unfortunately, I'm just a dirty little guy. I'm just a dirty little guy with my fists and kicks. <laughs> uh, that's sick though. Okay, so we got a sword of light from up here. That's very satisfying. Um, now from here, I wanna get to this place. Cheeky little invisible bridge, man. You got me. Oh! Was there something on the bridge? I just ran over something. So, I missed my chance to get across to that place before because... Oh my dear lord. Oh my dear lord. I missed my chance because we didn't have, a, didn't have the map then, so I wasn't looking at specific landmarks so we've been in this spot before but we jumped down instead uh, okay so how the fuck do you just avoid those things okay so from here where do we want to be going we want to be we want to be getting up here I think if we start from the st yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll go in here. Because there's an elevator here. This goes up, doesn't it? There's not an elevator here. Wait a minute. Oh, no, yes, there is. It's up. It's up. Confused myself for a second. I'm like, it's a wall. So this goes up to... I still need to get up there. Is 
this takes me to this spot. So we'll go in here. Remember where we are. I remember where we are because I didn't go up there. That's where we didn't go last episode. That's the spot. It was the staircase, and I remember being like, we'll cut across this way. Pest thread spears. Okay, hold on. Let's run up here. A second level, so we haven't been up here yet. Oh, fuck yeah, okay. So, found our way up. Pest thread spears secrete sticky threads and twist them into two frontward flying spears. The scale of the pests known as the Kindred of Rot now wielded as an incantation. Secrete numerous sticky threads, then twist them into two spears launched frontwards. The pests are abandoned servants, and it is for this reason that they found a mother in the Saint of the Bird. The Saint of the Bird. Scarlet Rot. Okay. Love it. And we made it here. There we go. Nice. Where are we? Where do we find ourselves? Church of the Bud. Main entrance. All right. The Church of the Bud. They be worshiping the Scarlet Rot here. Uh, summoning Pewl is now functional. Oh, who's this? Oh! <gasps> oh! What? Okay. Oh, bro. We match you. Um. Hold on, brother. Let me let me get in here. Um, what was his? Yeah, the arm wraps. Bro. Try leave ten, my man. I've have I I've come so far. All right, hang on. Um, there we go. Put that on my back. Yeah. We gotta do it, man. After after so long, um, it was the May the was it the May the best win or was it strength? I think it was um, May the best win, right? The best win. Have a rematch one of these days. Oh, dude, wearing the outfit and having him show up gotta be. One of my favorite things ever. Right. Here we go, buddy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, God. Oh! Ramina, Saint of the Bud. Oh, my God! Whoa! Fists activate. Oh! Oh, my God. FromSoft back at it again with another bug woman. They love to do it, don't they? Oh my god, we got Bug Woman. Not the cent centipede lady. She's strong too. And roly poly. And Scarlet Rot. Okay, I'm gonna need to put on that talisman for the immunity for sure. I'm glad I'm not just getting Scarlet Rot built up by being in the environment, because that would be fucking crazy. Oh my god. She looks like a fucking Digimon. Except for the centipede nature. She looks like, um... Palmon goes into Togemon, and then Togemon goes into this uh, beautiful Rose Woman. <laughs> looks so similar. Alright, I just wanted Dryleaf Dane and me to have a punch for a, at least one fight. That's a gorgeous looking boss, right? Not like, uh... Just visually, the presentation of that is great, and I hate bugs. Um... 
We've we've had a scorpion woman in Dark Souls 2. We've had Quilag in Dark Souls 1 um, as the spider and her sister. Um, surely we've had more than that as well. There's nothing coming to my brain immediately. Let me... Let me raise my stuff. I will raise my stuff. We'll also put on some preserving boluses. Let's have a th thing. I want to put my original clothes back on. Just wanted to have a quick little, uh, quick little dry leaf Dane moment. Just love the Death Knight helm way too much. He could have had, he could have broken his silence and had dialogue, but Egon was summoned in the. Uh, oh fuck! I um yeah. Egon was summoned uh, in the arena, which was cool. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Man, that's so crazy. That's a... <laughs> it's not focused upon entering there. I went, wait a minute, I didn't do any of my things. I didn't do any of my things that I got to do beforehand. Hold on a minute. Uh, 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 this is for you, Dane. Wow. At the end of the day, it always comes back to rot, doesn't it? Oh, if you get real close, you can avoid getting hit. Alright, if you get real close, you can avoid the strike. Uh, where do I hit you? Here. Um, ma'am, where would you like to be hit? The way that it twists in the center to form the body. Oh god. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Butterflies. Explosive butterflies. Get it, girl. That's crazy. Oh, okay. You're gonna keep doing that. Whoa. Alright. Holy fuck. Wow, okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Gross. Alright, now that I can see her in the light, she's disgusting. <laughs> um, wow. Alright. Alright. So there's going to be explosive butterflies. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. Just gonna get familiar with these moves. Last attempt was all right. It was pretty good. Getting those deflections in. Milady has been such a good blade to me. Oh, I meant to block that. I was blocking that one. Roly poly attack. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay. There's a lot to there's a lot to watch out for, because you gotta watch out for her, but you gotta watch out for the fucking bug head as well. Which is really interesting. So she'll be trying to swipe at you, that one will be trying to pince you. 
have to identify whether it's just moving its head or whether it's actually attacking me as well. That's all right. Okay, well this is... Dryleaf Dane did leave that message being like, I found the way. So this has got to be the way forward. We have to go through her to get to our destination. I saw that. Okay. Okay. He's still going though. Holy poly. Okay. And that'll come in too. Stinger. Okay, and there's the explosion. There's just a few things to watch out for here. Okay, spin to win. Gotcha. Are oh, we doing butterflies now? I was wondering if, if I would break your stance by now, but apparently not. Wow. 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 Oh, explosions. Yep. More explosions. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we just haven't been able to do consistent damage. We haven't been able to be consistent enough with, with damage to um, break her stance. It's okay. Spent quite a bit of that one just panicking. Because <laughs> you're halfway and it's butterfly explosion time. Butterfly explosion time. The moves are pretty easy to see now. Moves are pretty easy to see. So there'll be an attack, and then there'll be another attack. Right. The moves are pretty easy to see now, he says, and then proceeds to get like hit by every single one of them. I fucked up. I made a little mistake. They are easy to see. I just made a mistake. Just made a mistake. I was pressing the wrong button. He made a mistake again. <laughs> I was like, let me block. And then I was pressing L2 instead of L1. So clever of me. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
sorry, I forgot that that also did that. I was like, the moment I stop to heal, I'm going to get hit by an attack, so I just have to keep not getting hit until I do. I really like this boss design. It's a cool one. It's a cool one. Just be, be, be careful to go through all these uh, boluses of mine for Scarlet Rod. I have to go on a little crafting item trip. Alright, yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I'll dodge the first... Oh, never mind. I'll dodge the first strike and then deflect the second one. Just, just some moves in there that I'm still... I haven't mastered it yet, you know. I'll get there! Don't want Romina to think that it's too easy, you know? I want her to build up her confidence, you know? She's like, yeah, I'm a tough boss, but, you know, I'm losing intentionally to... She'll have no idea what's coming. Like I'm stuck against the wall. I am stuck against the wall. That's cool. That's cool. mistake of looking at her and not the fucking head. <laughs> that hitbox is really fucking interesting. That hitbox is really fucking interesting! 
it's just like one of those instances where it's like the head is attacking you, but then the whole body counts as like an attack if it touches you, but then you're able to hug it as much as you want when it's not attacking sort of thing. I'm like the head's attacking me, but I'm hugging the body, but I'm still taking damage. It's a hitbox and I don't know if I, I don't agree with that. Um... Oh, he got stuck. Okay. God, that's so confusing. too early. Alright, maybe that hitbox isn't as bad as I'm making it out to be actually. I might take that back. I think that might actually be okay. And I'm getting hit in a way that I'm not noticing at the time. I take it back! There's, there's, there's elements where I'm hugging the body perfectly actually, so I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what that is. Just unable to identify it in the moment. She's dragging me with her. Do the quillag. Do the quillag and hug the body. Yes. Do the quillag, they said. Hug the body. Avoid them hits. Oh, Ramina. Ramina, baby. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't get out. Don't get away from me with that one health. Remembrance of the Saint of the Bud. Lord of the Rings, battle for Middle Earth, the wrath of the Lich King. Remembrance of the Saint of the Bud 2. Look at that. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by a finger reader. After the church was burned to the ground, Romina discovered a twisted divine element which she weaved into the baleful scarlet rot. Perhaps then the buds might find somewhere to gain purchase once more within the scorched remains. Hell yeah. Dryleaf Dane was watching me from a distance. I could feel it. And he said, that's what he said. Church of the Bud. Um, one whole point into faith. I'm going to put my faith up to, to a whole big old ten. Ready? Which is going to go up to. It's going to go up to ten. <laughs> is that enough? I think I need just a little bit more. Tiny bit more. Tiny, 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 tiny little bit more. Ten faith. I'm a faithful boy. What was I telling you? I'm the most faithful. Let me take that off. Glad we didn't have to burn through all of those. Scarlet rotting over. Look at that. It's taken us right through to that little tree altar. There you go. Um, before we do that, let's go and see what's at the table of lost grace. Let's see what we get out of this remembrance. Um, 
All right. We can get Pole Blade of the Bud. That's cool. Scarlet Rock Buildup. Weapon of Romina, Saint of the Bud. A Scarlet Glaive with a dangling bud like blade. Attacks cause a buildup of rot. Once in the crumbling, burning church, Romina held the bud in speechless silence. The bud would become her blade. And Romina's purification, it imbues the bud blade with scarlet rot butterflies before unleashing two large sweeping slashes. This was once considered a sacred act of purification. And the Rotten Butterflies is an incantation. Summons a myriad of butterflies while performing a gentle twirl. The butterflies break apart on contact, scattering rot and setting off a chain reaction. The Scarlet Butterflies are as the goddess of rot's wings. Bereft of a master, they were soothed by Romina, who reached out to them. Oh. These are... Um, Melania's... Butterflies. Is how I'm interpreting that. Because the Scarlet Butterflies are of the Goddess of Rot's Wings. Isn't Melania, Melania, sorry, uh, the Goddess of Rot? I mean, she, she seems like it. And then bereft of a master, because we, we slayed Melania. And they were soothed by Romina, who reached out to them, and then she mastered them. Maybe, maybe not. That's just how I interpret that at first glance. I'm like... It was a lot of them scarlet rotting butterflies. With, uh. With what's her face? May as well grab that, considering I already got the. Just catch those in. Why not? Alright, now let's head back. Look at that, beautiful. Um. I still think I need to look at that. Give me a second. I didn't look at this. Give me a sec. Before we do the church stuff, hold on a sec. Let me go up here. And let me go and take a look at that. Let me go see what this is. Take this off my list. Of the uh, the map. Yeah, it is a building. Is it? It's going to be another forge, I think. Ooh, I think it's a, it's another forge. Uh, yeah, misbegotten. Yeah. Oh, hang on. It's one of those. Um, I can hear you. from there. I'm messing up the, uh, oh. I'm messing up the way of things at the moment. We've just defeated a boss. We're at a crucial element. And then I'm like, what if we just quickly went and, uh, checked this out? It's classic me. Huh! Um, this will prompt it to, to run away and then I'll be able to chase it down. Bro. Maybe I should just throw an explosive at it instead. There you go. That's a bit more on its level. Alright, get down. Yeah. Eh. Sure. Why not? Should we quickly go to a four? <laughs> uh, I just, I'll rest at the grace point and then we can travel back in. Uh, Taylor's Ruined Forge. Alright, there you go. Uh, it's like, we'll investigate this building. We'll see what it is. Um, it's a forge. Love it. Now I'll go back here. <laughs> okay. We will check out this forge uh, at the start of uh, next episode. Because we'll keep the, uh, keep the good vibes going. And we'll go just see what happens when we do this. To the Church of the Blood. Tree altar here. 
little detour to a, uh, to a discover a grace point. So Dryleaf Dane's still on my side. Ooh, there's some ghosts. No, just corpses. Examine ceiling tree. Ah, this is the tree that's responsible for the whole air seal. Nice. And then we'll be able to go up here through there, I guess. Burn the ceiling tree. Yes. So we need Mesmer's kindling. That's what Dane's letter said. Burning another tree. This is the one of the first things that we see when we enter this place is like this like shadow castle like it's like obscured in an uh, illusion like has that mirage vibe that's super cool to peel back the curtain <laughs> holy shit wow again i would like to have a chat with the uh, with the elden ring architects because how the fuck how do you build that Look at the bodies. It's like, you see like the bodies attached to the bottom of it. It's very like, um, when you go through, there's like a particular place, village in, in Bloodborne, and there's just like the scarred, petrified bodies all along the walls and everything like that. Holy shit. We're entering the big Elden Ring loading screen. Oh, we had the big Elden Ring loading icon too. What the fuck? Okay, I am, so we've been teleported here. From a, ah, from across the way. Enia Ilium. Holy shit, okay. Um, I thought that we would have to go back here and go up the bridge and go through the door. I didn't expect to get teleported here. Oh, okay. Enia Ilium. That's a really cool name. That door does not open. Hell yes. Alrighty. At the entrance, the outer wall to Enia Elim. This is where we'll be bringing this episode of Elden Ring to a close. I do find it really funny that like one of the first areas that we entered here is right next to one of the final areas that you enter as well. This has just been such a peculiar map to to navigate. It really has been. Uh, I think amazing and confusing both, but really, really incredible. Uh, I've had a great time this episode, uh, exploration-wise. We're finally, finally able to uh, fill out this last map piece, explore around this area, and take on some really cool bosses as well. Uh, next time, we'll go to that forge, we'll clear it out, and then we will also be uh, exploring Enea Elim. Will it be the final episode next time? Who knows? I would be happy to end our Shadow of the Earth Tree playthrough on either episode 69, because that would be nice, or rounded out on a nice cozy 70 similar to how we got Elden Ring at 50 that would be a nice nice number to land on we shall see how we go thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Elden Ring I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time